Hello everyone. In the topic of pregnancy in Rh negative women, in the previous first part we have discussed with the basic concept of Rh incompatibility. Now in the second part, I am going to tell you the basics of allo immunity or isoimmunization. So please watch this video till end so you may be able to clear with the basic concept. So what is allo immunization or isoimmunization? It simply means when the foreign antigen of same species enter in the other body, that body forms antibody against that particular antigen. It simply means. So here the foreign antigen is the fetus's Rh antigen. Okay, the same species, the mother and the fetus is the human beings, the same species. Okay, so that foreign Rh antigen enter in the mother's body and the mother's immune response get activated, it sensitizes and then forms antibody against that particular antigen. Okay, so this is called the aluminization or isoimmunization. And why it happens? Because of feto maternal bleeding or hemorrhage. So once the blood, the fetus's blood enters into the maternal circulation, mother's body, where this uh, antigen triggers the mother's immune response and thereby it forms antibodies. Okay, so fetal maternal bleeding is the reason uh, behind the sensitization in the woman's body. So, what all sensitizing events are there that uh, uh, allow the fetus blood to enter in the mother's circulation? So, there are certain events like if the abortion is there and if ectopic pregnancy, molar pregnancy is there, vaginal delivery is there or maybe cesarean section or any operative forcep deliveries. Certain procedures like amniocentesis, chordocentesis, coronic villus sampling and the abdominal trauma if the woman had the history of uh, blunt trauma on the abdomen or uh, she had intrauterine fetal death history or suppose uh, antipartum hemorrhage is there where placenta previa and abruptio placenta could be there. So these are certain events that allow the fetus blood to enter in the mother circulation. So what is the process? How this mechanism starts? So in either of any event, once the fetal blood enters in the mother, mother's circulation, what happened? That fetal blood carries Rh antigen and uh, this run along the mother circulation and trigger the immune response of women for the first time as it is the first time that the fetal antigen is entering in the woman's body so as in primary response IgM antibodies are formed so what happened once the IgM antibodies are formed the woman gets sensitizes okay so that is called sensitization that is entering of antigen in the woman's body and immune response provokes the formation of antibody and uh, thereby the woman get sensitizes. But now what happened in this first pregnancy, the pregnancy usually spares because uh, the IgM antibodies are larger molecules. They are not able to cross the placental barrier and enter in the fetus's circulation. So thereby the that it may not cause any effect in that particular pregnancy okay the pregnancy spares the first pregnancy spares and also the immune response won't act immediately it takes longer time to form antibodies it takes six months to form antibodies so thereby the first pregnancy spares okay so first preg pregnancy usually remain uneventful uh, there will be nothing to be happened but once the woman get pregnant again for the second or in subsequent time where she conceives and she carries positive fetus again then in that pregnancy the antigen once enter in the maternal circulation at that moment the mother's immune response act immediately as a response of secondary immune response so here in secondary immune response it will act immediately and form IgG antibody that time. Okay, it will not form IgM. IgM is the initial response, the first time exposure to any antigen. But now 
uh, it recalls that it was the antigen that already entered previously so this time it forms IgG and this IgG is a smaller molecule that easily crosses the placental barrier and enters in the fetal circulation. So this IgG antibody enters in the fetal circulation there it affects the fetus okay. So by this fetal maternal bleeding only 0.1 ml blood is enough to sensitize the woman with this immune response okay. So as I mentioned the various sen uh, sensitizing event that is enough uh, that may bleed more and sensitize the woman okay. Now the question that comes in our mind is that usually the first pregnancy spares and then the woman gets sensitizes and the subsequent pregnancy will affect. But is it possible that the first pregnancy can also be affected? Yes, it is possible. It will be happen if the woman had the previous history of mismatched blood transfusion. If the negative woman had blood transfusion of positive, positive blood group, then in such situation the woman already sensitizes with this mismatched blood transfusion and once she get pregnant for the first time she had already uh, that immune response and that is triggered by the first pregnancy itself and that may create the formation of IgG antibodies and the first pregnancy can be affected but this is a rare event it is not uh, occurring usually okay but yes it is possible then that the first pregnancy can be affected if she had the previous mismatch blood transfusion history. So here in this lecture we have discussed with this basic concept. Now in third part we will discuss how the fetus get affected with the entering of these IgG antibodies. Thank you.